We're back, everybody. Alright. Something is going on in the clubhouse. Oh, you do not want to play Vantage Masters against me, Becky. Or Stark. Welcome, Instructor Reen, looking for something. Um, why are you here, Stark? Well, Becky had some work to do in the city. So she asked me to cover for her. Oh, I see. I guess if anyone would be perfect fit, it'd be you, Stark. <laughs> yeah. After all, I already have plenty of experience thanks to all the field exercises. That said, Becky's already finished most of the work that needed to be done around here herself. I'm just here to watch the store. <laughs> Becky never misses a beat, does she? Tell me about it. I didn't even ask her money. She just ended up paying me in Vantage Master cards instead. Maybe we could play around or two if you have a moment? Sure, I don't mind. Though technically you're still on the clock, so let's not play too much. Sure thing, I could go for a game. Not against me. Please go easy on me. Why does the thief have so much HP? Okay. You're not doing too good, Stark, my boy. Oh, poor Stark. Getting absolutely You're destroyed. good, instructor. You suck. <laughs> you cannot defeat me in a children's card game. Hmm, I don't think I can keep this up. It won't be good news from you, Zay, but I might need to reconsider consider transferring. Kyrie, did you say something about transferring? Um, well, I was thinking about quitting the tea ceremony club. Really? Why? I joined this club because I wanted to become more manly, but I haven't been getting the results I was hoping for. Hmm, I don't really understand his logic. If you want to do something else, I won't stop you. Well, I haven't really decided what to switch to. I do have some reservations, though. I see. Tea ceremonies, huh? Master Kafai taught me a handful of things. In any case, Kyrie doesn't seem to have a grasp on tea ceremonies. I might be able to help him a little. Let's pour some tea. Actually, I have some experience with tea ceremonies. If you don't mind, Kyrie, would you allow me to pour some tea? Of course, I don't mind. If anything, it would be an honor. Alright, it's decided. Kyrie, you've learned all the basic procedures, right? Yes. In that case, show me what you've learned. And I'll do my best.
Nope. The heck? Does this? What? Uh, I botched it some more. I missed a bunch of hidden branch campus quests. Way of the Tea Ceremony, Part 1. How to Eat Sweets. Alright, let's get started. Uh, before you have tea, have some sweets. Right. I remember correctly. You eat everything. Though he took his time, Carrie finished all of the dumplings. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Hmm, well done. We have the tea ceremony, part two. Prepare to drink tea. Please have some tea before it gets cold. Thank you. Dr. Reen's tea is exquisitely delicate. I forgot to do this before having the sweets, but I'm supposed to. Thanks to heaven and to the goddess. Ah, praising the heavens and the goddess before drinking the tea. <laughs> well done. We have the tea ceremony, part three, after drinking the tea. Thank you, that was delicious. You're welcome. What do I do after I finish drinking? Kyra gently wiped the cup with his fingertips, then wiped his fingertips with a napkin. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> Good job, Kyrie. Hmm, that was amazing. To be honest, I didn't expect you to know all that. Um, thank you. I mean, I really had to think hard to find the answers. Instructor Reen, your tea was truly amazing. And the way you carried yourself was very cool. It was a good reminder that tea ceremonies aren't just for women. Yes, that's right. And many aspects of tea ceremonies carry over to martial arts. Musei mentioned that too, but I'm having a hard time grasping that concept. Well, let's see. You said you want to become more manly. Why is that? Um, I guess I just want to emulate my father. My father is very masculine and is a skilled swordsman. He's been my hero for my entire life. I see. Kyrie also comes from the family of a baron. And that reminds me of my dad. But after I, but I, but I take after my mother more. I was always teased for being girly. That being said, I am well aware that everyone has things they are more or less suited for. Which is why I got interested in tea ceremonies. I thought I could discover my inner manliness. But I guess I wasn't suited for this either. You make it look so easy, but I... Don't be so hard on yourself. I actually think you've gotten manlier since you first came here. Huh? I can sense your growth as the leader of the medical team. Everyone relies on you during the field exercises. At the very least, you seem very manly to me. Oh, I think you're just focusing too much on your appearance and not enough on your actions. You said it yourself. You want to find your inner manliness, right? In that sense, I think the tea ceremony club is perfect for you. Practice the procedures until you can routinely perform them without any wasted movements. It's similar to martial arts. When you hone your skills, you will gain confidence. At least, that's what I think. Mastering the art of tea ceremonies will make me more confident. You're right. Um, I have a better understanding of it now. <laughs> that's great. Instructor Reen, thank you for all your help today. I'm going to take back what I said about transferring clothes. I'm a proud Erebonian man. And I'm going to find my own manliness. At least, I'll do my best. <laughs> that's the spirit. Okay. I'm pretty sure I can't do it now, but I'm going to try anyway. Again, Le Guin? Again? How many times do you want to beat my butt? My booty. Getting in some sword training today, Principal? Of course, an unused blade will rust after all. By the by, you're still looking for a way to control your power, correct? I imagine this means sparring is off the table. You're right on all accounts, I'm afraid. Nothing gets by this woman, does it? 
Which reminds me, I heard your sister Elise delivered you a letter from Yun Kafai, the infamous sword hermit. You know, I heard that he and Master Arsaid once crossed swords. I've heard the same. They say there was no clear winner, but that didn't matter. Both men were enthralled by the fight more than the victory. Haha. <laughs> Clearly we know similar storytellers. There are so many different martial arts. But when you trace them back to the roots, you'll find a multitude of commonalities. Commonalities? Well, I guess someone who has mastered both the Arsaid and the Vander schools would know better than anyone. I wouldn't say I've mastered anything, though I suppose there aren't many who could reach the level I have. Which makes the hundred from which makes the hundred form military combat a fitting choice for the Imperial Army. Hundred form military combat? The style that draws its hundred forms from the Arsaid and Vander schools, right? I can't imagine it gets too much use on the battlefield, but it seems like a smart martial art to teach the soldiers. Indeed. If it's good enough for the likes of Craig the Red and Nightheart the Mighty, it's good enough for the rank and file. That's for sure. But I've rambled long enough. I want to see your branch campus style, 104 military combat in action. Huh? Wait, is someone outside? I know you can hear me, Wayne. Stop lurking and come in here. Arr! Don't make me say it a second time. Yes, ma'am. Good luck, Wayne. You'll need it. Sorry, Wayne. Sorry, bro. Don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Hello, lovely Rosine. Reen, you came. Yeah, I heard you wanted me to be a guest teacher for Sunday school. But why? You've already taught them a lot, right? Well, yes. Everything has been going well. Even the restless boys have been paying attention. That so? Good to know. Good to know you're reining them in. Now that I mention it, Rosine was popular with the boys at Thor's, too. However, I've been having trouble teaching geography. When I talk about places that are far away, the children have a hard time grasping what I'm talking about. In other words, they're just not getting it. I figured that since you've been all over, you might be able to pique their attention. Ah, I see. I mean, at the very least, my approach would be different from yours. Yes, I'm sure it will be a refreshing change for the student. I also have another request. Could you get Elise to come as well? Elise? Yes, her school is really famous in the Empire, and I thought girls would love to hear from her. I'm sure it'll make things livelier, and therefore easier for the students to take it all in. Ah, I see. I get it now. I'll need some time to prepare myself mentally, but... I'll let Elise know. Thank you. I think Elise is at the dorms. I guess I'll go tell her. To the dorms! To the shower! I haven't taken one yet this week. Reen, you haven't been training yet. There's no, there's no sweat to wash off. Oh yeah, I guess Elise took a bath with you and the others yesterday. Seems like they all had fun. You're here. Hey Ash, taking a quick bath before you go out? Yeah, I couldn't relax in here last night. Hmm, were you not feeling well? I would have been fine if not for the loud one, the fluffy one, and your sister. I was trying to have a soak in peace, but they were just so damn noisy over there. Yeah, I can picture that. Sorry about that, I guess. Tch. Still can't believe our principal is that demon woman, but... This bath's alright. She's got good taste. Ignoring that first part, I'll agree with you. Are you a fan of bathhouses too, Ash? I guess we've got that in common, at least. <laughs> Back home, I only ever took showers. That was always enough for me. You're from Raquel, in the west of the Empire. It's situated in the valley, right? Yeah, it's an entertainment city. Don't see many of those in the Empire. Heh. <laughs> you look in the right spots, you can find some special bathhouses. You like bathing so much, maybe you should check them out. Seems like you run off to Heimdall every so often. I hope you're not doing anything like that there. <laughs> Who knows? I admit it would be... I would like to check out the spa place next to that race course, though. Ah, the famous hot bath salon. I've actually been wanting to try that out myself. 
Oh yeah, you're from some famous hot springs town, ain't ya? Heard you can even go snowboarding there. <laughs> you know your stuff. Though, you can only snowboard in the winter. Damn it, I didn't come here planning to chit-chat like that. I'd say it's the third benefit of a bath. How'd you like it if Class 7 took a trip to Ymir one of these days? <laughs> no way. Well, maybe I'll think about it. See ya, Ash. Anyway, Elise, come to me. We must go help the kids at church. My darling, dearest, lovely little sister, let's go. Are you watering the flowers for me? I appreciate the help with chores, but... <laughs> I don't even consider this a chore. Seeing up, I washed all the laundry you had thrown in a pile. I was planning to wash those myself tonight, I swear. At least, I am an adult now, you know. <laughs> Never mind. So, you did you need something from me? Yeah. Knowing her, she'd probably agree to it, but... What should I do? Let's ask. Actually, there's something I'd like your help with. We can explain the Sunday school request to Elise. You and I as temporary instructors? Well, if you're okay with it, then I don't mind. Thanks, that's a big help. Let's head over to Rosine right away. Quest, a very special lesson started. <sighs> Thank you both for coming. It's been a while since I last saw you, Elise. You two have met before? We're acquainted. We actually met a few times when I was at the Heimdall Cathedral. We had the chance to talk here and there. My school and the cathedral are in the same district, in case you are wondering. <laughs> I see. I guess it's a small world after all. Anyhow, you want me to teach geography today, right? Yes, with a focus on Keldic, Crosswell, and the Nord Highlands. In any case, they've only heard about those places, so it would be great if you could give them a quick overview. They're like fresh slates. <laughs> That's true. Lastly, I'd appreciate if you could answer any questions they may have. I'll let you two decide how to proceed with the class. Gotcha. In that case, I'll teach the basics. Do you want to handle the questions, Elise? Sure, leave them to me. Should we do a quick overview before the children arrive? No, I know everything. I'm, I'm a genius. The three prepared for the class. The children quickly gathered around the Sunday, and Sunday school was fully in session. Okay, everyone, we have a special class today with very special guests. Reen and Delise, go ahead. Oh, right. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Reen Schwarzer, and at Thor's Branch Campus, I... He's an instructor and the Ashen Chevalier. He's going to teach us today? Cool. Yeah, this is going to be so fun. Hey, you two, listen to the teacher. And more importantly, who is that black-haired lady? <laughs> You're also energetic. I guess I didn't need to introduce myself after all. Elise, can you take over? Sure. Hello, nice to meet you all. My name is Elise, and I am a student at St. Destraya Girls' School. St. Destraya? That's that super famous one. Wow, you're so cool. And super pretty. She looks like a princess. Hmm, I'm so jealous. I will be assisting Mr. Reen today. Nice to meet you all. Yay! That was a good intro. Introduction. All right, then, let's get this class started. Let's talk about a place called Keldic. Keldic? I've heard of it, but... It's on the directly opposite side of the capital from Leeds. Simply put, it's... A market town. It's a popular market town. Market? Yeah, that's where people go to buy and sell things. You can buy snacks, juice, toys, and stuffed animals. Wow, cool! That's like heaven. <laughs> that was impressive. He has the children super interested. And so, that's it for Celtic. Did everyone understand that? Yeah! Sounds good. Let's see, if there are any questions, I guess we can... If there aren't any questions, I guess we can proceed. Yes, next is Crossbell. Crossbell? I know Crossbell. Grandpa told me that the honey from Crossbell is yummy. So Crossbell is a honey town? <laughs> Not quite. There are many neat places in Crossbell. Elise, would you like to chime in here? Of course. 
Which place across? Amorica Village is famous for the honey. Amorica Village is the place in Crossville that is famous for honey. They have many flower fields there. It's really pretty. Wow, how romantic. <laughs> I want to go. Maybe we can catch some bugs, too. But Elise, you haven't been to Armorica Village before, have you? Yes, I have. When I was accompanying the inspection team across the I did some studying there. I see. Well done, Elise. What a splendid answer. Yeah, we're, we're smart. The Schwarzer siblings are great. Now let's talk about outside the Empire. Next is a place I've been to a few times. The Nord Highlands. Oh, Nord. Isn't that the place that's in all those old stories? Isn't it something really far to the north? You know, Tom, that place that has that super huge statue? Yeah, I remember the fairy tale. But I think that's all I know about it. <laughs> I see. The region is named after the Nord people who live there. We have the goddess of the sky, but they worship something else. That is, they worship the wind. The wind. Nord is on a plateau. They have majestic views and are surrounded by really tall mountains. The wind there feels really pleasant and almost divine. It's that different? Hmm, I want to play tag there. Hey, I heard Nord is really big. You would get so lost there. I guess that went well. That's about it for Nord. Does anyone have any questions? Um, can I start? Go ahead. You talked about so many places, but where are you two from? <laughs> yeah. You're not from any of the places we talked about, are you? <laughs> I'll take it from here. We are from a place called Ymir. It's in the northern part of the Empire, and during the winter, it's completely white, covered in snow. White? Snow? Cool! I've never seen that before. Yeah, even when it snows here, it's only just a little. A world covered in snow. How romantic. I didn't think they'd get so excited about the snow. <laughs> Neither did I. Do you want to talk about that one thing? There's a very popular sport that involves snow. It's called snowboarding. You slide down snow-covered slopes on a special board. What? Did you hear that, Cheryl? That sounds super fun. Zach, when we go to Ymir, we're racing. <laughs> that got them pumped up. Yeah, it sure did. I'm glad we started with I'm glad we shared that with them. Now, Reen and Elise, we're just about out of time. Do you have any closing remarks? No, we're done already? I want to hear more. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Then how about we wrap it up by answering one more question? That sounds great. I want to ask then. You two seem to like each other. Are you going out? Huh? Well, are you or aren't you? Hmm, it seems suspicious seeing as you're both from the same place. That's true. So are you? Haha, <laughs> you caught me by surprise. There's no way Elise and I are. No way? Uh, Elise? Never mind. Why must he be... Why must he always be so... Hmm. Huh? What did I say? <laughs> anyway... We forgot to tell you that we're siblings. Really? Aw, oh, man. Hmm, it seems like there's more to it. Fine, then. One last question. Mr. Reen, do you want your lover to be older or younger than you? Um, why are you asking me that? Which one is it, Reen? <laughs> I'm curious, too. What's going on here? I guess I have to answer. Younger, duh. I'd have to say, younger. That's surprising, but in that case, I see. So you're saying I have a chance? Not that young. Um, I don't know about that. Anyway, let's leave it at that, children. Now, everyone thank your teachers. One, on three. One, two, three. Thank you! <laughs> you're very welcome. They're also energetic. Yeah, they're pretty alright. Thank you so much for today. The children truly seemed to like they had a wonderful time. And it's all thanks to the both of you. Looks like we were able to live up to her expectations. Either way, I'm glad to have been there to see your skills as an instructor firsthand. <laughs> when you say it like that, it's a little embarrassing. But I feel like this was a good experience for me. See you later, Rosine. If there's anything else you need, feel free to ask. I certainly shall. I believe I shall return to the dormitory. I hope the rest of your day is pleasant, Reen. You too, Elise.
Yeah, bonding with Elise. It's the best, that's the most fun thing to do. I can't believe I missed out on so many Branch Campus quests. Oh my gosh. And I even have a quest list, but I completely forgot there's two separate quest lists. Why wouldn't they just... Ah, uh, why wouldn't they put it under just hidden quests for the chapter? Ah! That's a little disappointing. I have fish to sell. Eh, he doesn't care about my fish to sell. <laughs> I don't care about hanging out with you, Kurt. Musee, however, I will chill with. Musee is pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Chill with me, Muse. Sounds like someone using the firing range. Huh, that rifle sounds so familiar. Whoever it is, they're really going at it. Maybe I should take a look. We should. Gotta be quiet so I don't interrupt. I just cannot aim today. Perhaps next time will be better. I don't know. I was pretty impressed. Instructor Reen? <laughs> Were you spying on me? I guess I should have said something. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just didn't want to distract you. It's rare to see you so focused. How about a break? Drinks are on me. My. <laughs> How's a girl supposed to say no to an offer like that? That gun of yours is pretty unusual. That's a Reinford Arts Rifle, right? That's right. State of the art, too. It's based on Orwell Staff technology. It can use normal bullets, too, of course, but because it's so different from the ordinary rifle, it's pretty hard to handle. It looks like all your shots hit the target, so I'd say it gets passing marks. Actually, wait. Are you saying you'd be an even better shot with an ordinary rifle? <laughs> my grandfather used to take me with him on his hunting trips. I wouldn't call myself a seasoned veteran or anything, but I know my way around a firearm. Is this the same grandfather who loves kimonos and tea ceremonies? He's got quite some diverse interests. But what prompted you to start training on your own again? Isn't it obvious? I'm part of Class 7 now. There's going to be a lot more combat than there was in military finance, and I want to be ready for it. And for what comes next. Comes next? Oh, it's nothing. Just a personal issue. Well, I need to get back to training. Thank you for your thank you for the drink, Instructor Reen. Yuzay, if you don't mind, could I give you some pointers? Huh? Rifle classes were part of my curriculum back at the main campus. While guns aren't exactly my specialty, I might be able to help you out for at least for whatever comes next for you. Instructor Reen. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <clears throat> By all means, take me into your hands and mold me, Instructor Reen. Reen began to give Muse some private life rifle lessons. He took everything he learned from the main campus, applying it to their lessons. So the music teased Reen the whole way through, her skills gradually improved. And then... Perfect shots. Ah! You hit a bullseye with every bullet. Way to go, Muse. I did, and I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Instructor, for spending all that time with me. I feel as though I've improved tremendously, and I plan to apply everything I've learned to our future battles. Thank you again. I can't wait to see you in action. You're a part of Class 7 now. I expect nothing but the best. Good luck, Muse. Of course. After that, Muse told Reen that she wanted to do a little more training on her own, and Reen saw himself out. 
<laughs> Thanks to him, it feels like I never stopped hunting. I'm looking forward to more of our private lessons, Instructor Reen. Uh huh. That Muse, she is a sly one for sure. The one time you bought for me is exactly what I needed for the upcoming season. Just listening to it, I can imagine a cool breeze blowing through the air to relax me. I've been listening to it to relax before my concerts, too. You're so thoughtful, Reen. I hope I can find something just as nice for you. That's so sweet. It's nice to hear it's helping him before his concerts. I'm quite surprised. Never in my life did I think I'd receive lipstick as a gift. That's not to say it's a bad gift. I like it a lot, actually. I've never worn makeup before, so I'll have to get Monica's advice on how to properly apply it. I'd like to show you how it looks on me one day, so be prepared. Aw. What does be prepared mean in this context? I know it's not the most subtle gift, but she likes it, and that's so that's all that matters. Like, Laura is a quite attractive woman. This is a proper tennis court. Alright, everything's set up for today's practice. By the way, Yuna, how's progress with that one thing? Well, <laughs> it's just hard to find the right time, you know? <laughs> Start making excuses like that and you'll keep making them all the way up to graduation. That's definitely a possibility for this shy, moody little girl who hides her true feelings under a veil of anger. Shy? Feelings? Anger? None of that's true! I think. What are you all talking about? Instructor Reen! Oh, we were just ha giving her some advice. We've got an interleague game with another school, so we're just discussing how to best prepare for it. Oh yeah, I think I heard something about that. Well, I'm glad to see you're all so serious about practice. Yeah, totally. So that, so that means no men on the court. Shove off, Instructor Reen. Uh, sure thing. Good luck, you three. Thank you. Oh man. Sheesh. An interleague game against another school. I'd like to help out somehow if possible. Is there anything I can do to help you out with? I've gone over the basics of the game rules and know how to use a racket, so I might be of some use in your practice. You learned how to play just like that? For real? Well, in that case, we may be able to use your help after all. Ah, uh, yes, this may be a good opportunity. In more ways than one. Actually, the match is going to be a doubles match, so why don't we have enough... So, but we don't have enough members to practice that. Can we do a match against you and Yuna against Luis and me? Sure, sounds good. I'd love to join. What, you guys? Come, come, Yuna. It's time to get ready. <laughs> There's the chance. Here's the chance you've been waiting for. Hmm? I'm not really sure what's going on here. Reen joined the tennis club members for a doubles match. Yeah! Nice, Yuna. <laughs> you too. But the game's not over yet. Don't let your guard down. Of course not. <laughs> we won't lose either. Indeed, it's our turn now. <sighs> oh, we did it. We won, Yuna. <laughs> Jessica and, El Jessica and Louise were pretty persistent, though. But I didn't expect you to be that good, Instructor Reen. You said you just went over the basics, but did you actually practice like crazy or something? Well, just as much as I could with my free time. I knew that I'd need to be able to help out with all of Class 7's club activities. Wait, so that means chess, swimming, tea ceremonies, even writing? 
I don't think a normal instructor would go that far. <laughs> well, it was only as much as I was able to practice, and only one at a time, so it wasn't that big a deal. But I'm sure instructors Toa and Randy and Michael are all putting in just as much work as I am behind the scenes. All in order to support you guys as you've grown, as you've grown over the past few months. You know, you've grown a lot after the crossbell field exercises alone. Ah. Um, instructor? What is it? Um, well... Kurt and Allie are both growing a lot, too. Uh, yeah, Kurt and Altina, as well as Ash and Muse. That's why I've put it... That's why I've got to put everything I have into being your instructor. Let's all look out for each other. Right, Yuna? Oh, okay. Um, sure. Aw, she's so shy and adorable. With the doubles match having reached its conclusion, Reen heads off to another part of the campus. <sighs> so you couldn't do it after all, even after all that help. Didn't you want to thank him for saving you back then? You said you wanted to thank him on behalf of your brother and sister too, remember? It's only going to get harder the longer you wait. You know that, right? I know, but it's already been so long, it'd just be awkward to just bring it up. But thanks anyway, you two. I'll do better next time. My word, it must be exhausting being so shy and moody. Right? I told you I'm not! It's okay, Yuna. It's okay to be shy. Being shy is cute. It's cute. Okay. I really don't want to hang out with Kurt. But I also don't really care to hang out with Elisa either. But I might as well use this last bonding point for something. Like, ah, uh, the last few people I can bond with I just don't care for. Good morning, Reen. I bet you're up bright and early. I'm on my way to Jirai with Sharon for a business trip. We'll be passing by leave, so maybe if I'm lucky I'll catch you through the window. I wanted to ask you something, too. The branch campus has a facility called Einhell Keep, doesn't it? I've been curious since I heard about it. I'd love to hear more about it from you sometime. A business trip to Jirai, huh? Her workload must be nuts. Then again, she's got Sharon, so I know she'll be always she'll always be well taken care of. But I can see why she'd be curious about the keep, too, with all that new technology involved. I could always show her the place if she has enough time to drop by leaves. Sure. Hi, Irene, it's always nice to hear from you. I'm glad I got your message. By the way, and I wanted to ask you something. If you got time before Jirai, do you think you could stop by leaves? I could tell you, but it'd probably be better to show you the keep in person. You can do that? And yeah, that's true. Do you think it's okay, Sharon? There shouldn't be any problems with our schedule. There's nothing quite like some quality sensual bonding to perk you right up before work. Sharon! <clears throat> well, there you have it. We're not that far from leaves right now, so I won't be long. Then I called you right on time. I'll pick you up at the station. Reen then met up with Elisa and Sharon at the station. So this is Leaves. <laughs> it's such a nice little place. Plus, I'm glad I got to see you again so soon, Reen. Yeah, it's good to see you too. And I hope you're doing well too, Sharon. Oh, I am in perfect health, thank you. My wounds have completely healed. I am simply glad to have been able to escort my lady back into your arms, Master Reen. And that's quite enough of you, Sharon. Anyway, can you show us the way to the keep? Sure thing, it's on the branch campus. Like... I don't know. Elisa just doesn't do it for me. Not like Elise, Sharon, Sarah, Toa, Muse. This is Emma. This is the Iron Hell Keep. Our training session is scheduled here later today. So this is it, huh? It's just like I was told. Indeed, it would appear so. Um, out of curiosity, why did you want to see the keep so much? Well, it's true that I'm curious simply because it's a state-of-the-art facility. But it seems like this thing was made with Reinhardt technology. My mother saw to that. I guess she took this project on her own in order to make Progress Schmidt's design a reality. Completely under the radar, just like with the new railway cannons. And you didn't know about it at all? It's embarrassing to admit, but no, not the thing. If something like this crazy was hidden so well, I'm sure there are tons of other nasty surprises lurking under the surface. Elisa. Green, do you think I could try out the keep too? I can't stand that I don't know anything about something my family was involved with. 
I'm going to investigate the crap out of this place and catch up to Mother while I'm at it. All right, Elisa. The new Class 7 has a test here after this, but I'm sure it'll be fine if I talk to the professor. I'd like to join you, if you don't mind, as my way of supporting you. I shall participate as well. After all, I would go through fire and water for you, my lady. Thanks, Reen. You too, Sharon. After that, the three of them went into the keep. Reen called the professor to explain the situation. He then agreed to help out with a training course before Class 7's trial. They decided to try one of the subroutes based on the older levels. Okay, come on, Reen. Sharon, let's go. Yeah, you got it. Our exploration of le the level 2 subroute begins now. <laughs> Let us be off in that case. Let's get started. Hey ya! <laughs> Now's our chance. I thought I, I thought I already took I thought I already analyzed the ice condors. Yeah. I'm up. You! Now's our chance! Re yes! Huh. It's my turn! It's my turn! Sharon just moving! Yes. There! Now's our chance! An opening! I'm up! Yeah. Yes! <sighs> Let's be off, everyone! Okay, I'm getting some good water seepeth, though, at least. Yeah. Sit! hey -ya. <laughs> Now's our chance! Now! It's mine! It's my... Leave it to me. There. Leave this. Let's go. Sit. Yes. Yes. There. Now's our chance. An opening. <laughs> Sit. Yeah. Whew. This is a good spot for a break. This would be a good spot for a break if I needed to, but I don't need to. Our last, one last hurdle. No way that's stopping us. Get in my lady's way and I'll cut you down. This one's tough. Be careful. Not my... I'm up. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Damn it. Risen it. I'm up. Huh. Leave this to me. Here. <laughs> Let's go. Leave it to me. I'm up. Ha! It's my turn. Ha! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Witness this. I'm up. Arcus, activate! Leave it to me! Let's go! Uh. I'm up! Ha. Fine. Leave it to me! Arcus, activate! It's my- uh. Yeah! Yes! Arcus, activate! Alright, nice work! <laughs> Freeze is powerful! We did it! Yeah, we really earned that win. So that concludes the level 2 subroute. Well done, you two. <laughs> right back at you. I never knew there was so much to Einhell keep. I get the basics of how it works, but there's just a whole lot here in here that's totally beyond me. It's an enigma. At least we were able to complete our goal. There's something so satisfying about seeing two lovers, about seeing lovers work together to solve problems. Lovers? No, we're not. Damn it, Sharon. Anyway, I really appreciate you taking me through the keep like this. Thanks, Reen. <laughs> My pleasure. Actually, Elisa, are you heading out right away? If you have some time, I'd like to show you around the branch campus. Really? Well, if you're offering, how could I resist? 
I still have some time before my train, and I'm curious to see what your day to day is like. In that case, I'll excuse myself. Far be it for me to intrude on a romantic outing for two. Or actually, the offer stands for you too, Sharon. You're too kind. I'd actually intended to drop in on my dear old friend Celestin. Not to mention, I can't imagine you'd need a third. Not at this point in your relationship, anyway. Sharon! Hey, <laughs> take all the time you need. You can find me when you're done. Just when I think she's out of ways to embarrass me. <laughs> On the bright side, it sounds like we've got time for the full tour. What do you say, Elisa? Let's go. After that, Rena and Elisa walked around the school, all the while rem reminiscing about their time at Thor's. Ah, I just can't get enough of the atmosphere here. It makes me feel like I'm back at the main campus. Yeah, me too. Even if it's a new building at a new location, Thor's is still Thor's. Yeah, you said it. With the keep and all the facilities here, it's clear my mother was involved to some degree. You weren't even told about the keep at all, right? Does that mean you don't get certain information even as project manager of the development division? I'm sure if I'd been, if I'd seen through it and grilled her on the matter, mother would have told me. But each production division is independent of the others, and each has its own projects to deal with. Ever since the Civil War, the whole company got bigger, making it even more difficult to see the big picture. The new railway cannons, for example. By the time Grandfather and I had even heard of them, development was already underway. That's kind of frightening. Granted, the 4th Development Division has its own share of top-secret projects it's working on there, too. But even so, I don't approve of Mother greenlighting projects like the railway cannons and the keep. Lately, it's been feeling like she's even more distant than usual. Alisa. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was just venting. I feel a little better now. I can't even talk to Sharon about this kind. Oh? You'll be alright, Alisa. You put your blood, sweat, and tears into your work at the Reinford Group. And because of all that, you'll become the project manager in a single year, right? So hold your head up high. We... I know how hard you've been working. Green. But whenever you start to feel worried, I'll always be there to listen to you vent. We've got the round of seven now, too, so if that helps take some of the weight off your shoulders, then... <laughs> Gosh, don't spoil me too much or I'll get used to it. But please, just let me do this for now. That's all I need. It makes me feel like I can keep going. Elisa? Of course. They are so cute together, but not what I not the couple that I care for. After a little while, the two pulled away from each other. Sharon then appeared to notify them about the train, almost as if she'd planned it. God damn, Sharon, you're too you're too powerful. Too powerful. After that, Reen reluctantly said goodbye and the two of them as they embarked on their journey to Jirai. Okay. This is a good time to stop the video. Next time, we're actually going to continue on the story and whatnot. Till then.